based on true events, Netflix's The Deliverance is a chilling reminder that reality can be stranger than fiction. The Deliverance. This film isn't just another horror movie, it's based on the true story of Latoya Ammons and her family, who experienced what they described as a demonic haunting in their Indiana home. In 2011, their terrifying ordeal would make headlines and send shivers down the spines of even the most skeptical observers. The Nightmare Begins The story started when Latoya Ammons and her three children moved into a rental home in Gary, Indiana. Almost immediately, they began experiencing strange occurrences, unexplained footsteps, shadowy figures, and even the sensation of being choked. But things escalated quickly. Latoya's children began to act bizarrely, speaking in strange voices, convulsing uncontrollably, and even walking up walls, according to witnesses. This wasn't just your typical haunted house. This was something far darker. Calling for help, Latoya turned to her church for help. A local priest, Father Michael Magino, was called in to perform an exorcism on the family and the house. He, along with a host of social workers, police officers, and medical professionals, all reportedly witnessed supernatural occurrences. The case even caught the attention of local authorities and child protective services who were concerned for the children's safety. Latoya's story was so compelling that it became a public spectacle, with many people doubting and others fearing what they heard. The Media Storm The media soon picked up the story, dubbing it the House of 200 Demons. The public was divided. Some believed the family was truly haunted, while others were convinced it was a hoax. But one thing was clear. The story had everyone's attention. It's this blend of skepticism, fear and fascination that the deliverance taps into, making the horror feel all too real. Hollywood's take Netflix's The Deliverance doesn't shy away from the most terrifying aspects of this true story. It dives deep into the psychological horror of living in a house that feels alive with evil. The film explores the blurred lines between psychological trauma and supernatural horror, leaving the audience to question what's real and what's not. And while the movie takes some creative liberties, the core of Latoya Ammon's story, her desperation, fear, and the horrifying events that unfolded remains intact. The Aftermath Even after moving out of the house, Latoya and her children continued to be haunted by their experiences. The house itself has since been demolished, but the legacy of what happened there lives on, especially through films like The Deliverance. The real horror of this story isn't just in the ghostly encounters, it's in the psychological toll it took on a family trying to make sense of the unexplainable. Whether you believe in the supernatural or not, Latoya Ammon's story is one that lingers in the mind, blurring the lines between reality and nightmare. So, what do you think? Was this a genuine haunting or something else entirely? Drop your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more.